In ancient China, during the mythological age, there existed a wondrous invention called the Shinansha, or the south-pointing chariot. While the compass is a familiar tool today, always pointing north, the Shinansha was even more remarkable for its time. It was a chariot with the figure of a man on it, who would always point south, no matter how the chariot was turned. This marvelous invention was created by Kote, one of the three legendary Chinese emperors, and the son of Emperor Yuhi. Even before Ko Te was born, his mother had a vision that foretold his greatness. One summer evening, she walked in the meadows to enjoy the cool breezes and gaze at the starry sky. As she looked at the North Star, it suddenly shot forth bright flashes of lightning. Not long after, Ko Te was born. Ko Te grew into a wise and strong man, eventually succeeding his father as emperor. However, his early reign was troubled by a rebellious magician named Xiu, who sought to overthrow him and claim the throne for himself. Xiu was a formidable foe, with an iron head and magical powers that made him nearly invincible. Ko Te declared war on Xiu and led his army to battle on a plain called Takaroku. Despite the bravery of Ko Te's soldiers, Xiu used his magic to conjure a dense fog that confused the royal army, allowing him to escape. Although Ko Te's soldiers were strong and courageous, they were no match for the magician's tricks. Returning to his palace, Ko Te pondered deeply on how to defeat Xiu. After much thought, he invented the Shinansha, the south-pointing chariot, to guide his army through any fog or confusion. With this new tool, Ko Te was ready to face Xiu again. Once more, Ko Te led his army to battle. As expected, Xiu summoned a thick fog to bewilder the emperor's troops. But this time, Ko Te and his soldiers were not lost. The Shinansha guided them, and they pursued Xiu relentlessly until they reached a great river, swollen with floodwaters and impossible to cross. Frustrated, Ko Te pitched his tent near the river and began to think of a solution. One day, while sitting by a pond, he noticed a spider struggling to climb onto a floating leaf. The spider finally succeeded and floated across the water. Inspired by this, Ko Te conceived the idea of a boat. After much effort, he built the first boat and had his men construct enough for the entire army. With their new boats, Ko Te's army crossed the river and attacked Xu's stronghold. This time, they achieved a decisive victory ending the long and difficult war. Under Ko Te's wise and benevolent rule, peace and prosperity returned to the land, and he was beloved by his people. Ko Te spent his reign inventing tools and methods to improve the lives of his subjects. After ruling for a hundred years, a great dragon descended from the sky to take Ko Te to the heavens. As the dragon appeared, the empress and courtiers fled in fear. But Ko Te reassured them, saying, do not be afraid. This is a messenger from heaven. My time here is finished. Kote mounted the dragon and ascended into the sky, with the empress and a few courtiers clinging to the dragon's back. As they disappeared from sight, a bow and arrow, once belonging to Kote, fell from the sky and were carefully preserved in the palace as sacred relics. Moral of the story, through wisdom and innovation, even the most formidable challenges can be overcome. Kote's story teaches us the value of perseverance, creative thinking, and the importance of leading with the heart devoted to the well-being of others.